for some reason, Blackboard's direct lesson link tool up here in build content when you use the Nearpod direct lesson link, it's not making the um, videos play for students. So what you'll need to do is, um, I'll just add it as an item. And give it a title, Nearpod video. Um, and then I will come out to my Nearpod and grab the join code. Now, if you're planning for them to work in a live class through this video, play it in class and then have question points along the way, you can also do this with live participation. So you get a join code in both instances. I've launched this a couple times testing it, so actually three times. So that's why there are three different join codes. If you want a new code to generate with a new report to generate, you click launch new. You can edit the number of days that it's available. So if you only want this to be live for a week, here we go. We can have it closed on October 9th. And this is the code to share with students. So go ahead and click apply. I see that there's seven days left. This is the code that's attached to that lesson. So I come back over to my Blackboard and go ahead and paste the join code. here. Fix the formatting. When uh, you do any pasting into Blackboard, it always chews up the formatting. Click this little eraser that clears it all and then you can do any reformatting that you like. And then um, another really nice thing to do is give directions. And that's the link to the uh, student directions here. It uh, walks them through what to do if they see a link on their Blackboard versus a code. And if they're joining with the code from a computer or a cell phone, there's separate directions there. Um, walks them through how to turn on notes and some different functionality. So um, that's an updated help document from the one that's living on, that was posted on your Blackboard template at the beginning of the term. So you might want to link these for students. It's, it's a Google Doc. You could make a copy and edit it any way you like. So let me get my link in here. Get this video out of the way. So there's the link. I always open in a new window. Click insert. This guy over. Um, you could have it um, only display for those seven days. If you like, you know, you can set this up however, however works best for your class. I click submit. Now the difference is these two were created with the um, build content direct lesson link. This is just a code that's pasted on the screen. Okay, this is a student activity. Let me just refresh the page to make sure I have the most recent. Okay, so this is a student Blackboard page that I have logged in with a test student. So this is what they see. They see the code and then they see the directions. That opens up in a new window for them so they get that information. And then that those directions tell them to go out to nearpod.com slash login. If they're on a computer, if they're on the app, they log in with um, this URL and those directions again are on that student facing sheet. So on the right hand side they enter the code from Blackboard. So here it is. I'll just copy it. takes a second. I asked them to put in their Blackboard username on those directions to make it easier for you to find them in the gradebook. And then here's the video. And there it goes. So we see that the video is playing and my question popped up just like it's supposed to. So now students can interact with the video 
um, like we want them to. I did put a help ticket in with Nearpod, um, and I've reached out to a couple of different uh, support staff to ask them if they can get this direct lesson link thing fixed for us. But in the meantime, you can still use the interactive video. It's just a different way for students to access it. So again, you go out to your Nearpod account, you grab the code, paste it on your Blackboard. I used build content item. When you use the build content item feature, everything you type appears right there on the page. If you add it as a blank page, they just get a link and then they have to click again to see the directions and the code. So I think this makes it easier because it's just all right there for them. I hope this helps. Please let me know if I can do anything. Um, uh, definitely call me, text me, or email me.